everyone, this is Liv straight from Kalkine Studio and you're watching Go Green with Kalkine. Let's look at how the renewable energy sources have evolved in the UK over the years. The British government has vowed to bring its emissions down to net zero by 2050. It's been taking several measures to achieve that target over the years. The United Kingdom has been actively investing in renewable energy since 2004. The UK's energy mix has changed drastically over that time. Let's take a look at the statistics. This is according to research by Drax Electric Insights. 42% of electricity is now generated from renewable sources which is around 6% of the total energy usage. Scotland produces 90% of electricity from renewable sources. According to the latest UK government data, the share of renewables in electricity generation has risen from below 2% in 1990 to 14.9% in 2013, and then it jumped to 42% in 2020. According to the UK Climate Change Committee, it's been helped by subsidies and falling costs. The infrastructure is now cheaper to build and running a wind or solar energy farm has fewer hurdles than any other source. The UK government first introduced the renewables obligation in April 2002. It required all electricity suppliers to supply a certain portion of electricity from eligible renewable sources to end consumers. In its 2006 energy review, the UK government said suppliers had to supply an additional 20% of the electricity generated from renewables by 2020. In 2012, the Green Deal was launched by the UK's Department of Energy and Climate Change. This gave away loans for energy saving measures for properties in Great Britain to enable consumers to benefit from energy efficient improvements to their homes. In 2015, by signing the Paris Agreement, the UK agreed to prevent global warming. And the UK is now bound by its own law to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. Now for the carbon budget. The UK will have to share the burden of international aviation and shipping emissions. This is viewed as a crucial effort in the government's decarbonisation efforts. For the first time in 2017, renewables and nuclear generated more power in the UK than gas and coal. That's according to a report published by the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. Britain ranked fourth on green power generation in Europe and seventh worldwide. In 2019, the UK became one of the leading nations in the offshore wind market. Offshore wind power is one of the most cost-effective ways of power generation, which is cheaper nuclear power. The wind energy installed capacity in the country reached 24.1 gigawatts in 2019, according to the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. And according to that same department, renewable energy prices have been rapidly falling since 2009. The solar cost has fallen globally by 90%. In 2020, amid the pandemic crisis, the UK government adopted a 10-point plan in an attempt to mobilise £12 billion of government investment and to create and support 250,000 green jobs in the coming years. According to the UK Renewable Energy Roadmap, the government is now planning to meet most of the power requirements from renewable sources. From heating homes to powering cars, most of the power will now come from wind and solar energy, with a smaller share from tidal, hydro and geothermal sources. That's all for now. Please stay tuned for more updates and insights into the green energy space. I'm Liv for Kalkine Media.